According to the Zimbabwe Independent, an exiled businessman has petitioned the Constitutional Court to prevent President Emerson Mnangagwa from running in the elections scheduled for August 23. The magnate Mutama Moa, who oversaw the enormous conglomerate of SMM holdings before parting ways with ZANU-PF more than 10 years ago, claimed in his application on July 5 that allowing Mnangagwa to run would be equivalent to tolerating violations of the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act that have occurred during his leadership. Moa is listed as the applicant on the application. The second through sixth applicants are listed as SMM, THC Holdings Limited, Africa Resources Limited, Tap Construction Products Ltd. And Tikona Mopezerai, and the respondent is listed as Unengogwa. Moa cited the state-run airline Air Zimbabwe Airzim and the Wayne Colliery Company Limited as instances where crimes had been committed while the businesses were being rebuilt. Umningogwa has to be interdicted and restrained from participating in the 2023 elections, according to Moa, who requested an interim interdict and restraining order. Court to declare that Umningogwa's conduct in relation to the affairs of Air Zimbabwe Private Limited and Wayne Colliery Company through his direct and personal actions, including appointing Chinamasa as chairman of Air Zimbabwe under reconstruction, was in violation of the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act, according to Moa. China Emesa, the former finance minister who oversaw Treasury from 2013 to 2017, was transferred to ZANU-PF as treasurer in the wake of the coup that deposed the late President Mugabe in November 2017. According to Moa, the act forbade the concurrent application of the company's ex provisions to the affairs of a firm whose control and management had been transferred and taken away by the Reconstruction Act. Let it go.